the key finding um, a little bit less than 100 patients were randomized, 47 in the liver transplantation group and 47 in the continuation chemotherapy group. Uh, liver transplantation was not performing all the patients because some patients uh, progressed before transplantation. But after that, there was it was possible to, to uh, the per protocol um, population is uh, 36 patients that were transplanted versus uh, 38 patients that were treated with continuation of chemotherapy. And the median overall survival of these patients, the uh, uh, five-year overall survival of the patients that have been transplanted is, is really higher than the, the overall survival of patients that continue chemotherapy. And what is interesting, I would say, is the fact that uh, when you are doing liver transplantation, you need to give to patients uh, immunosuppressive drugs to, 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 pre to, to allow the new liver to be accepted. And the fear was that this immunosuppressive effect could, um, I would say, uh, increase the number of patients with recurrent. But it was absolutely not seen in, in the trial. Some patients, 70% of the patients had recurrent, but it was uh, in a lot of patients, uh, recurrences that were uh, able to be treated surgically, or at least with an hope of cure. And it is for that reason at the end that there is a clear advantage in favor of liver transplantation in these patients.